Happy Wednesday, Jays. I'm Hannah Sanders. And I'm Marcella Reader. Today we'll have a look at this week's weather with Jackson and an update on Blue Jay Sports with Drew. All of that and so much more coming up next. This, this is, is KLHS. KLHS. Welcome back, Jays. There will be a celebration of LHS orchestras Tuesday, December 13th from 6 to 9 p.m. at LHS. There will be performances from the Elementary School Strings Program, LMS, DMS orchestras, and the LHS orchestras. Entrance is free for the concert, however, the all-you-can-eat dessert and beverage bar tickets are $5 prepaid and $10 at the door. Raffle tickets are $1 each or $25 for $20, which can be pre-ordered online at the website below or purchased at the door. Bring your cash and check to buy your raffle tickets to win some fabulous prizes and support the LHS Orchestra program. This year, the leadership class is wanting to reward students for achieving good grades and attendance each semester. To qualify for this reward, you must have at least a 3.75 GPA, 95% attendance rate, and zero ISS or OSS consequences. If these qualifications apply to you and you would like to be involved, check your email for this week to sign up. FCA will be hosting a community service event during Liberty Hour tomorrow and Friday in Library Room 301. They will be making fleece throw blankets to donate to Hailcrest Hope Transitional Housing. Everyone is welcome to participate, and if you're a member of the National Honor Society, you can get hours for helping out. The Creative Writing Club will be meeting tomorrow in Room 609. They will be celebrating with ice cream, cookies, and your own writings. They hope to see you there. Lumberjack Club hopes to, that we can pass the 800 Pancake Plateau this Friday in room 609. Come by between 725 and 8 with your appetite and join them as they eradicate the pancake population of Liberty High School one flapjack at a time. Please support our Special Olympic athletes by purchasing their fan shirt. Next week, leadership will be selling them during lunch. Costs range from $9 to $11. You'll want a shirt because sometime this school year, the Special Olympic team will play during halftime at a Blackout Boys basketball game. Reporters from KLHS have more information on just what Special Olympics basketball is all about. Let's take a look. Every year, a group of students get together and participate in Special Olympics. The selected players practice every Saturday along with their unified players. A unified player is just someone who's kind of on the court to keep the game going, and they rebound the ball mostly and pass it to the kids with special needs. Not only are all the unified players excited, but so are the Special Olympians for a rewarding season. I think it will be good this year. We have some, uh, some of our players from last, from last year, from two years ago, and hope we have some couple of new players this year, and hopefully they can get some good, good shots. Win a medal. A medal. State. The players put lots of time and effort preparing for their first tournament. While they spend many hours in the gym, they like to work on their favorite moves. Shoot basketball. Hoops. Shoot threes. Each year, Special Olympics gains many new members. With all of the new members, that means they have to have more teams representing Liberty High School. Um, I think we're going to have four teams this year. So, uh, you know, the first year it was it was we ended up with two. Last year we had three, and then so this is the third year of Liberty, uh, you know, Liberty School District Special Olympics basketball. So we'll have four. So keep growing. The players are very excited about multiple events coming up in the 2016-2017 season. Come support your Special Olympics basketball team for KLHS. This has been Caroline, Jillian, Hannah, and Gianna. Thanks guys. If you want your pictures from theater events, sport events, spirit weeks, and any other day around LHS, DM them to the Twitter handle BlueJWallLHS and it will be up the next day to look forward to in the main hall outside of the 400s hall. Also, if you have any ideas for the B&B talk shows on Friday, you can tweet either Brett or Bennett with your ideas. You can tweet Brett at Brett underscore Schweitz, and you can also tweet Bennett at Bennett underscore Swope. So I know what's been going around today is that there is supposed to be some snow. What do you think about that? I actually really hope there's going to be some snow. I know last year you didn't really have any, and I want a white Christmas so badly. Yeah, I think that'd be cool, but not driving, that would be bad. That would definitely be bad, especially for people who don't like have four-wheel drive cars. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head over to Jackson to hear about this week's weather and what the winter has in store for us. Jackson? Well, guys, it was pretty cold today with a high of 33 and a low of 17. 
For those hoping for some snow, we won't be seeing much today, but maybe some flurries. Tomorrow, we should have a high of 26 and a low of 14, with winds around 13 miles an hour. And Friday will be chilly with a high of 30 and a low of 21. That's all I have for today. Now let's go over to Drew with sports. Thank you, Jackson. What's up, Jays? Make sure to go out and support the Varsity Girls basketball team as they have a game tonight versus Liberty North. And tomorrow, the boys' basketball team begins a tournament at Leavenworth High School. Good luck, boys. We know you're going to do fantastic. Lastly, on Friday, try to make it out to Lee Summit North to cheer on the varsity wrestling team in their match at 3 p.m. The Liberty Sapphire is ready to begin their competition season. Please come support the LHO Sapphires at the Kansas City Classic Dance Team competition this Saturday, December 10th, in the Liberty High School Fieldhouse. There will be 45 Missouri and Kansas dance teams competing with over 200 performances throughout the day. Admission is free with Liberty High School student ID, and regular admission is $5. The varsity performance times are 1221 and 418. The Liberty JV performance times are 142 and 318. That's all I have for today. Now back to Marcella and Hannah at the front desk. Thanks, Drew. Before we recite the pledge, we would like to remind everyone that today is the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. On this day in 1941, 2,403 Americans died, 1,178 Americans were wounded, and 18 ships were sunk or run aground when 353 Japanese aircraft attacked the harbor. Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge and remember all the lives that were heroically lost. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all we have for today. For Hannah Sanders, Jackson Ogden, Drew Higgins, and all of our amazing production crew, I'm Marcella. Have a great day, Jays.